Hi, I'm Gordon Bazaar. Welcome to Bazaar Financing Pro. I find that even people who come into the Bazaar Financing Training and, and Support Program really don't have a sense of how powerful this system is and how comprehensive it is and how regardless of what phase of business development you're in, regardless of what your obstacle is, the resources are here to help you overcome that challenge in a very, very proactive and dynamic way. And so what my main mission is today is to give you a sense of the comprehensiveness of what you have signed on for here and to make sure that you have an understanding that allows you to use this resource to its full capacity. And if you do that, there is no way that you will not achieve what it is you're setting out to do within the framework of your business. And it doesn't matter how meager your resources are in starting. It doesn't matter what challenges you face. I want to assure you that every challenge that you face and every challenge that you will face has been addressed by entrepreneurs before you, that people have found answers to those challenges. And over the last 30 years, we have captured those solutions to those challenges. And even in our economy today, as much as we might tend to think, well, these are new challenges, times are different. Well, yeah, the times are different and the tools may be different, but the challenges are all very similar. And the beauty of having a program that spans 30 years is there isn't anything happening right now that, believe it or not, in the last 30 years hasn't already happened, whether it's high inflation, low inflation, whether it's tight money, loose money, whether it's recession or uh, a, a bear economy. It doesn't matter. They've all happened already. And the beauty of what we've done here is we've put together the resources that help people in business overcome those challenges regardless of the times, regardless of what their resources were. And uh, yes, we keep updating it, and you'll see that in a little while, some of the tools that we have in what I call beta format that are designed to help with some of the challenges that you're looking at facing today. Most of the great tools are already on here. We keep updating them to make sure we include the latest technology, the latest support. And I think you're going to find that this is just an awesome, awesome resource for you. So with that as the introduction, I'm going to start by going into the orientation section of the website. It's the first thing that you come up upon when you log in. When you log in, this is where you actually come up. And there's a video that's normally in here, and the first thing I'll be saying to you when you open that video is, good morning. <laughs> and uh, whether it's evening or nighttime for you, I hope you take that good morning in its true light, which is to just get your energy going and, and to let you know that you're in for something really special. I encourage everybody to watch this orientation video because it will really give you a sense of some thought processes and some mindsets that you can have that will help you get the most out of the Bizarre Financing Program. In addition to that, as you come down here, there is this little text section here which is headed to get the most out of your Bizarre Financing Program. And for those of you who may or may not have read this, uh, sometimes it's a good idea to just reread it. It helps you get an idea of how to approach Bizarre Financing so that you can get the most out of it. I sometimes find it very useful just to come back in here myself and reread this because it helps reframe my mindset for how do I get into these tools and, and how can I really use them. One of the most valuable tools really on this orientation site is actually this workbook table of contents. And the reason that this is a very valuable tool is it will spell out for you in an outline form the contents of what's in this program. Now, it doesn't give you all the tool sets because they are not necessarily in the text part of the workbook. But what it does is, is it gives you a sense of the breadth and the scope of what's available here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to click on this. And what that does is it takes us into the workbook table of contents. And I want to start out by addressing what the first sections of Bizarre Financing are and why these sections are here and why they're important. And I want to just focus your attention here because what we have in the table of contents, it shows section A1. 
and it's the psychology of business success, how to get from where you are to where you want to go. If you read through what's included in that, some of the sections here that I find are particularly important is to discover what you love most. I can't tell you how important this part is because there are many of you who are part of this call, and if you're not on the live call, perhaps you're a person who will be reviewing it on the recorded version. But the most important thing I tell people in business is, is discover what you love most. And that's the very first part of the process of getting into business for yourself. Because if you're just plugging along, trying to make money without being in love with what you do and who your customers are and what you can do for them, you are destined to fall way short of your true potential. And so if I were going to give a person a single bit of advice in business, I would say uncover what you love and aim your arrows in that direction. So this is a very important part of the process, and we cover in here a lot about how do you do that? How do you get in touch with that part of yourself so that you can really bring it to bear and follow that heart part of yourself that ultimately governs the focusing of your true capabilities. Another section here that people tend to, to maybe bypass sometimes even because, you know, it's kind of, uh, some people feel it's kind of a little way out there, you know, like get in touch with your subconscious mind. How do you really get in touch with your subconscious mind? What can your subconscious mind really do for you? How does it work? How does it function? Very important part of the process. I can't tell you how many successful people I know, for example, who once they learn this part of letting their subconscious mind really function for them in a way that really can manifest what they're trying to accomplish in life, it's awesome. And uh, again, this is a section I want to make sure that you don't you know, skim by. It, it, it's, it's part of the foundation. It's part of what can make you great at what you do. Not just good at it, but great at what you do. And another section here that I want to dwell on for just a moment is the entrepreneur's self-image. You cannot accomplish in life more than you believe you can. You cannot accomplish in life more than you can visualize, see yourself doing. And so understanding what creates your own self-image, how do you enhance that self-image, how do you get a sense of yourself as being able to accomplish anything and overcome any challenge. It's a dynamite part of your foundation. And then getting into the plans and how do you take all of this and, and develop now your plans and put the right pieces and processes into that. So what I'm trying to say here, this is a very powerful section and it's foundational. It's not part of the, the techniques of the purchase of the business itself or the starting of the business or the running of the business, but it's the underpinning of your foundation. If you're going to build a big, tall building, you darn well better have a strong foundation to build it on. And what this addresses is making sure that you have that, that strong underpinnings to who you are and where you're going and what you're going to accomplish and how you're going to do it and seeing yourself doing it and understanding what internal tools you have to make it happen. That's what this is about, and it's foundational. And I can't tell you how many people look at this section and say, well, I, I kind of know all that stuff. So they skip it. They go right on. And what I want to encourage you, if you are one of those folks that may have skipped through this or just read it with a mild interest, go back and revisit it and make sure that you take this section and start to use it to build that strong foundation of who you are and what you can do in life and how important the outcomes are for not just you but for humanity in general. Have that sense of yourself. The next section here that, uh, again, I want to address because it's also foundational as part of the psychology of business success, but it's to look the part, act the part, and be the part. Again, I can't tell you how important this is. Most people look at this and say, well, uh, I'm, I'm, I look fine. I, I know how to act. Um, you know, I, I've, I've got a good education. I've got a finance background. I, I've had some leadership training. I'm a good motivator. Uh, you know, and so they say, I already got this. All right, so they move on. Again, this is a section that is foundational. And the stuff that we've included in here are those little pieces 
that if overlooked, if somehow they fell between the cracks and they don't get addressed, they impair, they impair the amount of success that you're going to generate in your lifetime. And so, again, it's foundational. It's not part of that specific technique of how to buy a business, but if you ignore the foundation, you are going to be missing a big part of what it takes to build your building, to build that magnificent structure that you want to build within the framework of your business. So again, I want to encourage you, if you didn't take these parts seriously when you first went through the program, or if you're new to the program and you're looking through what the course has to offer, pay attention to these parts. Get into them. Understand them. See how they apply to you. Make them part of you. You will not regret it. It will definitely strengthen that foundation from which you're going to build. The third part of the psychology of business success deals with something that is so fundamental I use it every single day in business. If I had to attribute one thing to my ability to be successful in business, I would say it's an understanding of this simple set of principles that are embodied in the four personality types and how to influence them. Because you see, when you're an entrepreneur, when you're a person who's out to build and manifest a dynamic organization and company, you have to deal through people. You cannot do it by yourself. You can't lock yourself in your garage, even with today's communication technology, and build a website and do everything yourself, and next thing you know, you've got a business going and you're the only one there. <laughs> it just doesn't work that way. You're going to have to interact with people. You're going to have suppliers. You're going to have customers. You're going to have employees. You're going to have associates. You're going to have affiliates. You're going to have a whole host of people, and your very success in business depends upon your ability to orchestrate the time, talent, and resources of other people. And your understanding of people and your ability to communicate with them, not in your personality style, not in who you are, but if you want to communicate, you have to communicate to them in their personality style to match their energy, to deal in the way they process information. And so in this section, you're going to learn if you haven't gone through this section yet or if you've gone through it and really maybe didn't pay all that much attention, you're going to learn about four personality styles. You're going to learn how to break through the obstacles. What do these four personality styles, uh, how are they different? How do they approach things? What's important to them? What's not important to them? So that once you can identify a person's personality style, you know exactly how it is to approach them. You know how to not offend them. You know how to get their buy-in. You know how they're going to look at what you have to, to offer. You're going to know how to overcome their objections. And once you have that as a mindset, you become very powerful as a person. The very first thing I do when I meet anyone is I identify very quickly, and we teach you how to do it, which of the four personality styles the person is. And what that enables me to do, it enables me to communicate with them that minimizes their resistance, maximizes their cooperation, and enables me to get other people to work with me, to buy into projects that I have, to understand what they need to understand because I've communicated with them in a style that's right for them in a style that they have learned to process information in, that's natural for them. And so when you work with people in their own personality style, you become a very, very powerful person in terms of what you can accomplish because everything you do in business is leveraging yourself through other people. It's getting other people to work with you, support you, buy into where it is that you're going in your business or in your projects. So a very, very important section, fundamental, foundational part of Bizarre Financing. And then we get into the section of how do you find the right business for you. And again, there are two meanings to the word right business. 